Now I want to say a little bit about uh, uh, my own uh, plays my, that I'm working on, but this is this is a bit of reality. It's it's more or less the same as I said previously. I am repeating myself, but maybe the story gets a little bit changed as it goes along. Uh, you may remember the uh, ruins of the Fortress University based on Kendall, because they've got the ruins already, and to some extent Exeter, the castle walls are sort of well, possibly similar from an earlier time. I'm, I'm trying to arrive at the situation where from the next academic year, sort of the one that starts at the end of this year, there will be a backstory to explain why Kendall Castle is a ruin or the Fortress University is um, just a sort of space you can use. It's a sort of theme park. The, the real university was long ago and has gone away somewhere else. Um, I'll, I'll say what the, the news is and then I'll say a little bit more about that. The, there seems to be another cyber crash happening. There was, there was a, the, the, the cyber crash everybody knows about was around about 2000, um, just before that and a couple of years into this century, let's say. Um, but it, it's, it was okay. They, they just announced Web 2 at some point and it started again. So the, the technology in some form will continue um, in, in my reality mode, I've, I've uh, claimed that for Adobe, Adobe seemed to start it, as the, what I noticed, they, they've started going down rather than going up, which is very surprising. I think Adobe is a very solid technology company and they can be tracked bef into the last century, so before the first cyber crash and uh, through this one, I, w I would imagine they'll come out of it at some point. If that's what's happening, it's only it's only a theory, but I'd, I'm attempting to stay with reality before getting into drama later on. Um, so today, or the last time I looked, the W was on 397, and it seemed to me, looking at the chart, that 400 was a a significant number compared with on the way up. If you sort of look at a, a sort of mountain of uh, going up and down, and the the Nasdaq is is on uh, eleven thousand nine hundred and twenty eight, and I would think that ten thousand is a s sort of similar number to four hundred for Adobe, and um, that's that was no no it isn't at ten thousand, but you can look have a look at the charts, but what what is more so when I start to look at it is where, with the, um, the, the numbers for, for what is um, pushing up the, the, the MOOC scene, because um, Peter Horrocks was effectively sacked from the Open University for putting money into FutureLearn. Um, everybody said, well, this is a terribly ridiculous idea and he shouldn't be doing it, and um, why doesn't he stop doing this? And um, after a bit, he had to go. And I, I thought, well, no, this isn't quite right, because I liked the MOOCs, and I was just doing free courses. That was the basis of my uh, enthusiasm for this situation. But I think the, the technology has got the potential to be massive and popular and um, so forth, but it might it might all be a bit um, uh, over over hyped in different directions as well, and certainly it has developed much more um, commercial skills orientated. So they've started charging for degrees and certificates, and a lot of the courses now come from commercial origins. Um, but I, d I don't think that's a totally ridiculous thing. I mean, Google have courses in cyber security because they need people who know about that. And um, they do offer jobs based on those courses. And that seems seems a reasonable thing to be doing. Um, I don't, you, you know, you can still have universities offering courses on, on humanities and social science. And 
the platform develops the technology to do it all in similar ways, I would think. Um, you, you probably need other things going on as well, to conversations or practice or something else. Anyway, um, to you, which bought edX for I think eight hundred million dollars, um, their price in May twenty eighteen was ninety eight, and it's now eleven. And Coursera is now fifteen, and they they were fifty three in April twenty one, which was just after their IPO. So you could say that those two have had their crash. That's the sort of decline that, that most stocks were doing in the cyber crash at the turn of the century. So um, I'm sort of going back on my, my um, support for Peter Horrocks. The people in the OU were quite right. Unless, unless like um, Harvard and MIT, they sold edX to um to you for eight hundred million dollars uh when was that not long ago it's a fast moving story um, anyway it can all be worked into an explanation of how the fortress university which was based somewhere near kendall um though obviously it's based on Durham, which is where Peter Horrocks gave his lecture, um, how that came to be a ruin. Because the Vice-Chancellor, looking at all these numbers, decided that there would be a future of some kind, but it was very important to, to um, keep what cash was left safe to get through the next three years some period of time assume, assume, I mean uh, this all seems I'm not saying this, this this isn't investment advice this is just a plausible story um, so subcontract what few courses you've got in cyber security to somebody else and um, stop maintaining the buildings uh, in, 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 the, in the fiction uh, happening in, near Kendall um, the vice chancellor's bought a small house near the railway station, and um, every, everything else is um, on hold. And uh, so that's that's how the ruins came about. Uh, more on this story some sometime, sometime later. <laughs>